Okay, this is going to be a real quick video demonstrating my Waldrop's pack saddle, but this is basically it. You can see that it wears just like you would a pack frame. In fact, you can pack out a quarter of an elk on this. It's rated for that, but basically it's just like wearing a pack frame. It's got a hip belt and it's also got your chest or your sternum strap. But I'll show you real quickly exactly what I put in here. Everything I need to go hunting this stays in my truck and I'm always ready to hunt. Now one, one of the neat things about this is you can use it two ways. One, you can lean it up against a tree like that and just sit in it. And I don't know how well that's going to do on concrete, but you can sit in it and lean back. It's one of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. Or if you don't have a seat, this kicks back. And once again... You sit in it and you're ready to go. I love it. It's great to shoot from. It's very, very comfortable. Another nice thing about this is this has got an adjustable strap so you can actually lean this back further or make it sit more upright. Uh, I put tennis balls on the bottom of here just to keep it from sinking in soft mud. But let me show you what's in the pack. The first thing uh, some of you are probably already familiar with a, a set of the sticks. Basically what I did with this here is I took one of them, and I just used tape on these. I didn't feel like painting these this late this season. But I drilled a hole in one, and I, I just tied a big knot on there so it wouldn't pull through. Put a loop in the other end so that you could take these together when you're at the end of your hunt. And just wrap it around there a couple times. And there you go. Goes right in the pack. Drive these in the ground. You can put, these are one inch. I made this set out of one inch. Uh, you can put pine burrows or, or grass or any kind of natural vegetation. What I would do is if I was set up, I always set up with the animal off to my left, looking in front or from behind. So basically like that's the angle. I would be set up expecting something over here. I would take these then and put them here, 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 and here. Four of them. That would set me up a pretty nice little blind where I'm now ready to shoot anywhere in that direction. I usually try to get a tree, preferably a cedar or something big or a bush or something right behind me here. And then I have a branch, you know, a couple branches set up around me. I can also drag dead logs and stuff and, and make a nice little blind. I've done that before, pulled up a dead blowdown or whatever. I, I've actually sat into a dead blowdown and put these around and used them. This is one of the things I carry in the pack. Another thing I'm always talking about is my kill suit. I just want to show you real quickly how effective this thing is. Wearing a blue shirt. I can go out into the woods wearing my work clothes, throw this thing on, and I'm set. And I like how this hangs down. I've trimmed it to where it don't have any on my chest or my arm. And I'll usually take an arm guard and put it on that. But I can take this and it really helps break up the outline. What I'll try to do too, and this is actually the jacket. I don't have my sapper in this kit. But I'll, I'll take this and I, I would wear, you know, blue jeans or whatever here. And I'd put it over my pant legs like that and it'd be buttoned all the way up. And I let this hang down as much as I can. The sapper's even longer. So that makes a very good camouflage. You can see what it'll look like from a deer's perspective. All right, and then of course, I, I don't wear this hood. I've got a, a Gila hat that I actually wear, but you could easily wear the hood that comes with this. That's what you're looking at, okay? So I would carry this. With this particular one, I would carry the pants with this, or I'd carry my sapper. And I think that's really about all I've got. Oh, I've got, I actually do have my hat in here. So here's the hat that I actually wore when I'm out hunting. Just kind of goes like that. But then in the other pocket here, I would put... You know, if you're carrying a release aid, a shooting glove, anything else that you would need to hunt. I set up all my kits. I, I put a separate shooting glove. I put a separate arm guard, a separate face mask, a separate kill suit in every one of my uh, ground hunting sets so that I don't never have to swap from one to another. 
So this is the Waldrops. I really like this. The, the advantage of this one is that you can go anywhere. You don't have to have a tree and set up. As long as there's some brush or some tall grass or something, you can effectively break up your outline with this. And that's another thing with these pipes. If there is no background, what you can do is cut some saplings. Like I said, I, I like cedar because it really does break up the outline. And put two of them behind you to help break up that silhouette. All right, and then put some lower ones in front of you. But that's the Waldrop's pack saddle. Great. I really love this thing. You can also set it up to where you can backpack it that way. And then here's your shelf. You can put a quarter of, I, I've packed out a quarter of an elk at a time on this thing. Uh, one thing, I, I used some of that camo duct tape. I'm probably going to take this off. I just didn't want to paint it right before the season. But I'll, I'll probably take this off and paint this at some point. Although, you really don't have to paint them. You're, you're down in the grass and stuff. Oh, I always carry a set of pruner in my bag also. So that's the wall drip. Pack that all. I'll try to make one on my hammock seat a little later sometime in the future.